Hi guys! I'm back! This is Teacher Marge. For today's lesson, we are going to discuss about probability. But before we proceed, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for my future videos. At the end of the lesson, you are going to describe the meaning of probability such as 50% chance of rain and 1 in a million chance of winning. Quantify the phrases most likely to happen and unlikely to happen. Okay class, what is probability? Probability is used to describe how likely or unlikely it is that something will happen. Probability may be given in fraction, decimal, or percent. The value of probability ranges from 0 to 1. 0 means the event is impossible to happen, while 1 means the event is certain to happen. Probability will help us decide how often something is likely to happen but it will never help you exactly when that event will happen unless the probability is zero or it will never happen or one, it will surely happen. The event is unlikely to happen when its probability is closer to zero. Like winning a jackpot in a lottery where you only have one in a million chance of winning. The most likely to happen an event is the closer its probability to 1. Now everybody, let us observe the probability chart. We have here less probable than not and more probable than not. So as we say that probability can be given in fraction, decimal, or percent. Now if the probability falls to 0, 0.0, .0 or 0% therefore it is impossible to happen if the probability falls under one fourth or 0.25 or 25% that is unlikely to happen and if it is one half 0.5 or 50% it can be as likely or as unlikely to happen and if the probability falls under 3 fourth, 0.75 or 75%, the event will likely to happen. And if the probability it falls under 1, 100%, that is certain to happen. Now, let us study the following example. We have here example number 1. All you have to do is to use impossible, most unlikely, as likely, as unlikely, most likely, and certain to describe each of the following statements. Now, letter A. It will snow tomorrow. Okay? The climate of the Philippines is tropical. It is impossible to snow. So, therefore, our answer is impossible because... We are in a tropical country. Another example. Now, the likelihood that two people in any group of 15 will have the same birthday is about 8% or 0 0.08. Now, since the probability is closer to zero, matching birthdays in a group of 15 is most unlikely but not impossible to happen. Why? Because there is still 8%. Another example. The weather forecaster says there is a 50% chance of rain today. This means that the chance to rain today is as likely as it is unlikely. It does not mean that it will rain nor will not rain today. So therefore, the chances is 50-50. So your answer must be as likely or as unlikely. Now let us have another example. The sports analyst says that Manny Pacquiao has 75% chance of winning this fight. This means that Manny Pacquiao is likely to win his fight. It does not mean that he will win the fight. 
So if he does not win, don't say the analyst is wrong. So therefore, at this event, the chance of winning is likely to happen. Another one is the sun will rise tomorrow. It is certain that the sun will rise every day. So the probability of the rising of the sun is 100%. So it is certain to happen because we all know that sun uh, rise always and every day. Okay, let us have another example. Let us observe the spinner below. The spinner consists of Earth, Saturn, Jupiter, and Mars. It is divided by four. What is the probability of the spinner landing on a planet other than the Jupiter? Okay, it is likely to happen. There are three out of four or three-fourth or 75% chance of landing on a planet other than Jupiter. Okay, let us have another example. Look at the spinner. The spinner is divided into six and numbered one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, can you write and describe the probability of landing on number one? Okay, the chance of landing on one is one out of six because the spinner is divided into six so what is the chance of landing on one so you are going to make it as a fraction one out of six therefore it become one over six or 16.67 percent so it is more unlikely to happen that the spinner will land it on one it is more unlikely to happen. Going back with the spinner, what is the probability of landing on 3 or 5? For the spinner to land on either 3 or 5 is unlikely to happen. Why? Again, the spinner is divided into 6. The chance is 2 out of 6 or 1 third or 33 0.33% so 33.33% that is unlikely to happen okay. remember class to look again on the probability chart in order for you to determine what probability will land or fall a certain event or a question or a statement ok class always remember that we are going to use impossible, most unlikely, as likely, as unlikely, most likely, and certain to describe a certain event. Since we have learned about probability, let us have an activity. Okay, for our activity, you are going to quantify each of the following events as certain, most likely, likely unlikely or impossible to happen then give a reason for each of your answers okay thank you for watching always remember to learn and have fun with mathematics again this is teacher marge don't forget to click like subscribe and click the notification bells for my future videos thank you goodbye